Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a best-selling author who is ranked along with respected authors, including Danielle Steele and James Patterson. Yes, with over 100 mm. successful books. She's here to give us the keys on how you can become a best-selling author, too. Please welcome author Casey Mills. You better come through. Yes. Yes. I know this is all of it. You look really nice. Thank really you, nice. thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Did I just get comfortable on you national did, television? You did. It's fine. But, but it's That's cute. Really fine. You, look, you look real cute. It's fine. Thank you so, so much. So you have to talk about your journey because it's a non-traditional journey to becoming a best-selling author. Tell us how you got started. Okay, so truthfully, my daughter is behind the success. Mm -hmm. So I wrote my first book for her. Really? As a young African-American teenager, we were living in a predominantly white area, mm -hmm. and I needed her to see herself the way I saw her and the way the rest of the world needed to see her. Yes. So I wrote a book for her, and she loved it. Yes. Oh. So the crazy thing was, I said, well, if I can write a book for her, what else can I do? Yes. So I wrote a book, and I submitted it to my publisher, and here I am. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is just a great Cinderella story. I mean, you have over 100 books, and right. 90 Ninety of them are bestsellers. Yes. I mean, you're like the black harlequin romance over here. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think your work resonates with so many people? Truthfully, I think it's romance with an edge. Mm -hmm. So one thing that, that exceeds color, gender, everything are emotions and feelings yes. and things like that. And so the relationships are really what sell the books. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I focus on that part and everybody feels emotions. Good, yes. bad, up, down, doesn't matter. Yeah. So I think that's technically what sells the books mm -hmm. and the success comes from that. Yes. So out, out of all of your writings, does anyone stand out any more than the other or is there anyone you're most proud of? You know, that's so odd. I would say no, really, but the first book is because it's what got me started. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the one for me that will always be my heart. Yes. However, when I write, every book is the best book until right. I get to the, the next, next one. Right. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, you outdid yourself. But yes. here comes the next one. It's like, oh, man, you really wow. outdid yourself. Wow. So. Yes, before we get to some real tips on how we can get this done, do you have, like, uh, you know, an, an area where you write? Do you have to have incense on? Do you have a glass of wine? Yes. Or what is it like when can you I, write these best Can I books? say I have wine? No. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> You know, I, I like to be outside okay. because inside I feel restricted. I'm a universe person, mm. and so I literally sit on my back porch with my dog in my little egg chair with my iPad, and I will sit there for hours and write. Yeah. So that's my thing. There's nothing else special about my system. It's just being outdoors, and it just lets my creativity Come flow. On. Mm. Look, it's God ordained. My yes, goodness, that's is. beautiful. Okay, so give us some real tips to take us from on the couch to bestseller. Okay, so the first thing is you need to know your target audience. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to sell a, um, do a self-help book, and you're trying to promote it to historical fiction, it's not gonna be successful. Right. So know your target audience mm -hmm. is number one, and then do your research. Yes. I don't care if you're writing fiction, be an expert on what you're writing because even fiction has to feel real and authentic. Yes. So you need to know um, what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And then consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency in your ideas, in your writing, in your system, whatever you're doing to produce those hits, you need to be consistent yes. because consistency is the key with anything in life. Yes. You know, so those are the biggest tips. But ultimately, be your biggest advocate, be a brand, promote, promote, promote. Mm, mm. You can write a million books. If nobody reads them, no success. Yeah. So those are the key tips for. Okay, so for that person, they have their ideas, they write their ideas on paper. What's next? Tell us about the business side mm -hmm. of being an author. Uh -huh. So first and foremost, you need to know what you're trying to write. So once you have your idea and things like that, once you get that together, mm -hmm. then you systematically need to figure out who you're going to send it to. I'm a publisher, send it to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <All right now. laughs> so outside of that, you know, you basically need to understand your target uh, market because that will help you craft your ideas. You need to read a lot. Mm -hmm. You need to know what you're uh, competing against. Yes. You've got to know what's out there, but authentically put your spin on everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And just be authentically you with your writing and things like that, and you'll be successful because if you feel it, your readers will feel it. You can't take someone else's ideas and try and make it your own. It's got to be you. So for every 
you know, person that has that idea, I say basically figure out who you are as an author and push it. Be yes. your biggest advocate. Yes, yes. Let's talk about your seminar, Journey to Number One. So you're giving them, you're giving the people obviously of this information now on our Absolutely. television show, <laughs> but you're putting it in a seminar-based uh, atmosphere. Tell us about that. Okay, so I didn't have a traditional journey. And for me, I came from a corporate world. I didn't know anything about writing. So a lot of things I had to figure out. I didn't know how to submit a book. I didn't know how to put together craft ideas and things like that. And I struggled through a lot of it, but I figured it out. Mm -hmm. So for me, I want to give back. For those people that don't know, I want to hand it over to them. Make it easy because anybody can be successful if you have the tools. Yes. And I didn't mm -hmm. have them. I had to figure it out. And I worked my way through it, but there's millions of people out there who want that same success, so I'm handing it over to you. That's my duty, my yes. civic duty to give, give back. back. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Casey. Mm -hmm. You are just uberly successful, and hopefully lots of people are ready to write their books after hearing your success story. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. For more information on everything she's doing and the Journey to Number One seminar, be sure to follow Casey on social media at author Casey Mills. We'll be right back. Thank you, Casey. Thank you so much. <laughs>